For over 100 years, trains traveled all over Berkshire County, connecting its towns and villages to each other and to the big cities. Impressive railroad stations became the hubs of major rail routes, linking them to the more local mode of transportation, the electric streetcar. But by 1971, most forms of passenger rail travel, both train and streetcar, had disappeared. Karen Christensen, writer and founder of Berkshire Publishing Group, became inspired to create the train campaign. I was in Grand Central with a foreign business associate when it first hit me. Our train is boarding. We're not going to have time to get coffee. It's okay. We can get to the coffee on the train. Research for my publishing business requires that I travel to countries in Asia and Europe where I have experienced comfortable and super-fast trains that connect big cities with outlying areas not unlike the Berkshires. Restoring passenger rail service would increase the vibrancy of the Berkshires by attracting businesses, creating jobs, and strengthening the social fabric of our community. But bringing trains back to the Berkshires will require community participation and support. Images Cinema has been a vibrant element of the Berkshires since 1916 when it first opened as a silent movie house and when yeah, train travel no, was in its heyday. No, I'm totally good. How are you? Can you move your stuff? Thank you. So kind, so kind. Yeah, no, I'm doing really well. I'm actually trying to better myself as a person. I work on a novel. Yeah, I know, I work on a novel. It's crazy. It's it's a metaphysical view on archetypes. It's like war and peace meets twilight. It's what I'm looking for. With like a dash of like Harry Potter, but not too much because like so yes. As a nonprofit movie theater. Images Cinema is sustained by the Berkshire community. Here's how you can help. Hi! Yeah, good to see you! Yeah, no! Oh my god, I have to cancel our lunch plans next week because I'm going to this silent retreat. So you just sit around and don't say anything for like two weeks. It's amazing. I think I'm going to be great at it. It's going to be really fun. It'll like maybe a really better. I have a brochure about it somewhere in here. Oh, somebody on carbs, Kim. Candy carbs, but more, whatever. We're fine. Where's this brochure? I can't find this brochure. No, anyway, you take my word for it. It's really, really cool. Can you, oh, can you make things? Um, yeah, no, it's going to be great. I'm going to do lots of yoga, lots of like core exercises. It's going to be fun. It's in here somewhere. I can't find it. Whatever. I can't find it. No, it's gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna like be a totally better person afterward. Like feel it. My writing is gonna get better. My creative energy is gonna get better. Please turn off your cell phones. Oh my god, you're not gonna believe what just happened. My phone just turned to banana. Like a banana. Like I'm holding it. Like it's a banana. It's insane. I don't care. The signal's wonderful. It's great. Anyway, so the other day I was like, I decided that I'm really going to go more into the spiritual cleanse I'm doing. And I decided to get a neck tattoo that says, only God can judge me. Just as a reminder. And I think I'm going to have it in Japanese or Korean. Either way.